Turkish Prime Minister leaving Davos, vowing never to return after a discussion there. What's the difference between uh, what goes on in Belém and what goes on in Davos? Well, there's a, a world of difference. Um, in Belém, there's about 100,000 people coming from uh, as, as much as uh, 150 countries who are activists and, and civil society organizations working every day to try to change the world uh, locally and, and to get people out of poverty, to save the environment, and uh, to push governments to follow what they say but they don't do. Um, and uh, there's uh, quite uh, an interest in, in how all the proposals that have been uh, done in the past nine years, the forum is at its ninth edition, uh, are now quite clear uh, with the financial crisis, which is not only a financial crisis, it's uh, many different crises coming together. It's a crisis of a model, of, a stru of the structure of the economy, uh, of the fact that um, our model of development is destroying uh, the, the same world, or the territory where we live, and uh, that's going uh, nowhere. So there are many proposals from fair trade to renewable energy to uh, organic uh, cultivating um, to cooperativism and uh, solidarity economy uh, that are emerging spontaneously and that are already a reality here not only in Brazil, but in many parts of the world. And uh, I understand Hugo Chavez has arrived there, and I've also heard, uh, well, the corporate media seems to be uh, much more interested in Davos than your summit, and they've been criticizing uh, Chavez for being there. What has uh, what Hugo Chavez been saying? And I also understand uh, President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva is also there rather than at Davos. Yes, uh, five of the uh, so-called progressive presidents of uh, Latin America are here. Um, they weren't invited by the forum because the forum is only a civil society event. Um, governments do not participate to the forum, but it's a parallel event where uh, exchanges are happening between social movements like the uh, Semterra, uh, which is without land people, and uh, the Via Campesina, who are the farmers. Um, and the uh, head of state. One of these meetings happened uh, today um, with four of the presidents, and another one is happening right now with Lula as well. Um, and uh, the, it's, it's not uh, uh, applauding uh, what they do. It's also uh, asking and criticizing many of the policies of, the, of these presidents, but at the same time is recognizing that um, they are not in Davos, that means they are not following the old model of uh, globalization. And uh, what actually comes out of Davos? I mean, you've, you've been having, sorry, not from uh, Belém. We've been showing some of the wrong pictures, actually, from a different conference. You, you coincide the conference deliberately with the conference in Davos. What actual action comes from the World Social Forum? You've been holding that for a number of years. The corporate media doesn't seem particularly interested. Do you think they're more interested now because of that financial crisis and, uh, and after all, all those governments that have been protested at World Social Forums um, are now advocating greater state involvement in uh, their own economies? Yes, greater state in involvement doesn't mean uh, throwing money into the, the, the financial system and saving uh, the big banks that created the problem. So uh, there's different ways of uh, sustaining, uh, have, having a strong public sector. And that is what requests that are coming out from um, the LAM and from the social forum is that uh, public money should go in, in, into welfare and public services in, in keeping the environment and, and protecting it, protecting people and, and, and taking them out of poverty, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, there's quite a difference uh, in, in the way uh, we're looking at how to solve the crisis and how to go out of the crisis. The social forum is not uh, a conference of uh, leaders. Um, it's a open space where the big networks uh, meet together and then find common uh, agreements and solutions and, 
and go out from there uh, with a stronger uh, pull that, that will help them uh, work together. For instance, on uh, republicizing water and, and, uh, and keeping it as a uh, public good, um, as uh, protecting the Amazon and the indigenous people who are the protagonists of this uh, forum, um, going to uh, uh, changing the way the uh, financial system works and, uh, and, and anti-speculative uh, taxes uh, like the token tax and, and, and other proposals that are emerging. Now, this is only the second day, so I can't really speak for all of the thousands of meetings. Uh, while in Davos there's one meeting, here we have like 3,000 going down at the same time. And just finally, there are obviously thousands of people with MBAs, business consultants in Davos, all uh, uh, either ignoring or insulting your forum, saying that uh, your forum uh, represents a backward step. Uh, what would uh, people at the forum say to those accusations? Well, uh, I think it's obvious to everybody where the backward world is. Um, there's Here, there is the youth. Uh, most of the people here are uh, between 20 and 30 years old, about 50% of the, of the participants in the forum. Um, they are entrepreneurs and, 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 and people who uh, uh, are, uh, in, in a way, changing the system, changing their uh, local uh, uh, places. They, they're, they are also... Um, some some uh, politicians trying to uh, get what the new trends are, are here, and and they, these are in parallel forums, like the parliamentary forum which just, uh, closed yesterday, uh, where many parliamentaries from all over the world reunited just to understand what what's coming out from from the movement. Jason Nadi, World Social Forum in Belém in Brazil, will be uh, perhaps going back.